the enormous Honda unmistakably is gone for people whose motoring motivation incorporate loads of coins. It can't tow, up to 5,000 pounds with all-wheel drive, 3,500 with front drive. Be that as it may, as a general rule, the payloads involve kids. We most likely don't generally need to include that despite the fact that many ants are predominant in all parts of family porn, pilot prospects would preferably give their children to science and be found in something with those obvious sliding side injury ways. There's incongruity in this vehicular fear, since the pilot is a nearby cousin of Honda's Odyssey many fans, basically. In any case, picture manages in this domain, and picture is infrequently established in objectivity. Talking about picture, there are some inside our dividers who incline toward the blockier looks of the past age to the slicker styling of the new. Be that as it may, smooth is the place the whole hybrid segment is going. Our first trial of the H3 pilot included an elite model, which incorporates everything in the vehicle's broad stock of highlights. Here we go. This time, we're taking a gander at one of the more affordable adaptations. On the off chance that you draw your budgetary line at a Palatex, what do you get? What do you forgo? Is there an execution forfeit? Furthermore, what do you spare? Speedier sprints. We should begin with execution. All pilots are moved by a similar motor, a 3.5-liter V6 appraised for 280 drive and 262 pounds to foot of torque. That dislodging is natural, the past pilot power plant additionally was a 3.5 V6, however the new motor basically is the same as that utilized by the Acura MDX, and direct fuel infusion gives it a 30 horsepower edge over its ancestor. This in a vehicle that is considerably lighter, by as much as almost 300 pounds, as per Honda. It's additionally significantly snappier off the line. What you don't get with the lower trim levels, LX, X, and XL, is the smooth new 9-speed program transmission that accompanies the Touring and Elite models. The LX, X, and XL are furnished with a 6-speed programmed. That is one gear tooth more than the past pilot, however the 9-speed completes a superior occupation of keeping the motor in the sweet spot of its energy band. What's more, it incorporates new paddles, which aren't a piece of the arrangement with the 6-speed. More dimension, more room. As noted in our trial of the Elite model, the new pilot is greater than its antecedent, dimensional expands that make an interpretation of straightforwardly to the inside. There's sufficiently even room in the third column for two or three grown-ups choose without an excessive amount of whimpering, despite the fact that getting three individuals of any size to ride back there for more than a couple of miles is probably going to incite common war. In the elite turn level, second push seating is a couple of commander's seats, diminishing the potential traveler tally to seven. Nonetheless, this is a particularly more agreeable power gauge, its expanded largeness enlarged by more delicate touch surfaces and a considerably more appealing dashboard format. The X isn't precisely stark, with a standard highlight stock that incorporates the 8.0-inch touchscreen, less root, 7-speaker sound with Honda Link infotainment, Pandora interface, haze light, Honda's Traveler side lane watch camera, remote motor begin, and, in this test unit, the Honda Sensing bundle. So as usual, it gets the chance to be an issue of what an imminent purchaser thinks about basic in a family vehicle. Would you be able to in your family be cheerful without a delight Sunday for a week? Clearly, that one's your call, 